as we uh, conclude our month of missions, this is the last Sunday of that, I hope that throughout these weeks you have been inspired and encouraged with how diverse God's ministry can look and how wonderful and far-reaching is his goodness and his gospel and that we don't have to be stingy with our time, our talent, or our words. God uses it. God does not abuse it, but he takes it for his glory to build his kingdom. Let's stand and give him praise.
Heavenly Father, that's what we've come to do, to worship you. All we have, all we've done, all we are, we present to you as an offering of love because you loved us first and best and always. Father, we can't fathom, we can't understand it all, but what our mind cannot grasp, our heart can seize onto. And so, Father, we are here, and we give you worship. In Jesus' holy name, and for your glory alone, amen. Our special guest today represents Camp Oneida. And when I was trying to think of camp songs, this one, of course, stood out amongst all the crazy ones that I could think of. And how many of you have had your bonfire, first campfire or bonfire for the season yet? I had one, yep. Not at my house, but I was at one. And there's something about a fire that is so attractive. God knew what he was doing when he invented that. And so this song is a perfect example of burying an everyday thing in a spiritual truth. Let's take the spark that God has given us and pass it on. Our next song is one that we've been introducing to you over the last couple of weeks. We read the words through as a reading, and then we sang it to you last week, and this week we invite you in the spirit of missions and evangelism and passing it on to sing along with us. We're going to uh, have this in our roster and make this part of the repertoire 
of this church, not only, I hope, in music, but also in reality of the words that we say today together. So again, welcome to our service of worship this morning. We're, we're thankful that we can all gather in Jesus' name. We want to, to worship him. We want to hear what he's doing. So it's just great to be gathered with others who, who uh, call on Jesus as Lord and Savior. What a great thing. So welcome uh, in your, I don't want to say pews, in your chairs. I think in the back pocket, if you're a visitor or if you have a prayer request, I think, right, you can fill a little thing, put in the offering plate, even on the way out. Uh, so if you're a visitor or you have anything you want to communicate to the church, you can put it on that little card and do that there. You are. Okay, uh, so so Rose, we're going to hear from Rose. So just a little little introduction. Who here knows Rose? We all know Rose. I met Rose when she was, I think, maybe this big, and I think we called her Rosie, but then eventually she said, I want to be called Rose, not Rosie. So anyways, now she's Rose, not Rosie, but, but uh, Rose... Uh, in Camp Oneida, go way back. She was a, a camper there for many years, uh, attended camp many times. She became a volunteer there as she got older, and now she's actually on staff there, and I wrote it down so I wouldn't get it wrong. She's actually on staff as business manager, and she is also on the camp committee, which would be like the, the volunteers that run it. Sorry? Oh, yeah, so Rose has got a long history with Camp Oneida, so um, we look forward to what you're going to tell us about Camp and I this morning. And Good morning. Um, so my name is Rose, and I'm one of the business managers at Camp Oneida this upcoming summer. Um, today, I'll be sharing about Oneida Baptist Camp and what our mission is. 
I'll also share some more information on the variety of camps we offer, as well as different opportunities to get involved. To start, I'll share a little bit more about how I got involved with camp and my experiences throughout the years. So Camp Oneida has been a really big part of my life. My family first uh, learned about camp through this church in which my brother and I started to attend. I went to camp every summer from the age of four to about 14. And then as I went into high school, I volunteered for a couple of years uh, as a leader, and then I decided to work on staff. Since then, I've been working on staff since 2018, and I've had many different positions from working in the kitchen to maintenance. Through this, I've met many great people and have had many great learning opportunities, which has shaped me into the person who I am today. So Oneida Baptist Camp is a non-for-profit Christian summer camp. Uh, camp Oneida has been involved uh, with Christian education since 1950, in which over 15,000 campers have experienced the opportunity to attend and learn more about Jesus. Our purpose at Camp Oneida is to teach, witness, and bring children, teens, and adults in a place in their life where Jesus becomes an integral aspect. Through the fellowship and atmosphere at camp, our mission is able to produce fruits in people's lives and in turn result in the decision of Christ. Oneida Baptist Camp was established in 1950 by three church associations of the Canadian Baptists of Ontario and Quebec. Camp was then later incorporated in 1998 as a nonprofit corporation and is entrusted to a board of seven directors who are elected by the church associations, including Oxford Brant, Norfolk, and Niagara Hamilton. Camp Oneida is located about 30 minutes west of Dunville and just south of Hagersville. The camp is located along the shore of Lake Erie uh, by Nanakoke. Um, now we'll look more into about how camp is structured throughout the summer and what our facilities look like. So if you choose to visit Oneida this summer, you'll most likely stay in one of our 10 standard cabins pictured in this slide. Uh, these cabins can sleep up to eight people, which include four bunk beds. Um, camp also has two larger cabins, which can sleep up to 10 people, as well as a winterized cabin that can accommodate 16 people that includes a kitchen and two bathrooms. Camp's facilities also include a new dining hall, a large craft cabin, um, meeting rooms, the lodge, and washrooms that have indoor plumbing. Um, and Camp's property now stretches to 144 acres that includes waterfront, fields, and trees. Um, during our kids' camps, campers are supervised by leaders and directors, which are all approved by the camp committee that have annual background checks. And the camp also offers on-site medical staff that are volunteer nurses, paramedics, and we also have lifeguards. This summer, Camp Oneida is offering 10 different camps that run from June 30th until August 23rd. Um, we offer family camps as well as kids camps that vary in age. Um, family camp is offered in two different ways, structured or unstructured. Um, structured family camp typically follows the same schedule as our kids camps that offers involvement with program directors, whereas our unstructured family camp is more laid back and families are able to participate at their own leisure. Camp Oneida is offering two new family camps this year, including a single parent camp and conqueror family camp, which is for families with special needs in which the program volunteers are able to support. And then our kids camps are offered for children between the ages of 15, uh, five and 18, um, and they're run for either a full week or a half week, depending on the age group. Um, if you're interested in registering for camp, uh, camp offers an early bird discount in which you'll receive a $20 discount for camp registrations paid in full by June 25th. And then there's also a multi-child discount for families with three or more children attending any kids camp. Through this, you can receive a $20 discount per child. Um, the cost of camp covers room, meals, utilities, as well as the cost of staff and other maintenance. However, with the rising cost of everything, our prices have remained low still, so we're very grateful for that. Um, camp also offers a campership fund in which it offers financial aid to families who may not be able to cover the full cost of camp. So if this is something that you're interested in, you can contact the camp directly. So in addition to our family and kids camps, we also offer a program called BOLT, which stands for Building Oneida's Leadership Team. It is a great opportunity for teens who are interested uh, in leadership opportunities at camps, such as being on staff or program leaders. This camp offers, um, allows people to further build their leadership skills and work closely with their peers. 
While at this camp, there's typically guest speakers that come and speak. My year doing, during Bolt, Alvin Lau came and spoke. He spoke about what Christian leadership looks like and was able to answer any questions that we had. There are also many team building activities in which campers get to work together and develop communication skills. Um, Bolt campers are also given uh, ways to foster Oneida's mission and help children learn more about Jesus. During Bolt, campers are typically given the opportunity to work with some of the children attending that week as well. Um, usually, they're able to play games or run some sort of elective. Uh, this gives our future leaders some additional experience um, before becoming cabin leaders. Um, this is offered for those between the ages of 13 and 17, and it is a great way to build a skill set as its primary focus is on leadership development, and it can be applicable in other areas of life, not just at camp. And I did want to add that I don't believe that this camp is shown on our website, but if you go to register, um, you have the option to register it <laughs> for it. Um, so the, while at camp, you'll have a pretty packed schedule. In the morning, most camps wake up around 7.30 and then do a morning devotion at flagpole. And then breakfast is just after that. And then there are more morning activities. Um, there's usually worship and Bible study and then a morning swim. Around noon, we have lunch. And then there's a rest hour where kids are able to order some snacks from the tuck shop, which is covered in the cost when you register. Um, then there's afternoon activities um, and an afternoon swim. In the evening, supper is around 5.30, followed by evening activities, and then there's vespers and campfire, as well as an evening snack, and then lights out. The schedule will vary depending on the age group and program directors. So as mentioned earlier, there's a Bible study every day at camp for the children to participate in, as well as a time of worship. Each week at camp, the program directors have a different theme in which the Bible study uh, is focused around. Camp Oneida offers a wide variety of activities. These activities typically happen during elective times. During electives, um, children are able to sign up for the activities that they are interested in. And typically, there's three to four elective slots per day. And therefore, everyone has the opportunity to try everything if they wish. Um, our facilities have canoeing, biking, paddleboarding, kayaking, swimming, archery, crafts, sports, tetherball, hiking, and indoor games and activities. So our water programs typically happen in the lake. However, we also have a creek that runs through our camp that allows for canoeing if the lake is too rough. And then here's some more pictures of some of our electives. Um, this is our biking. Um, we have a bike shed that stores all of our bikes. And then we sometimes go down to the park just down the road. We have, uh, I believe it's Selkirk Provincial Park. Um, and then we also have a giant slip and slide that runs down the back of our one hill. Um, directors typically have a water-oriented night, and this is always a really big hit, especially with the younger kids. And then this is just some more photos. And then sometimes Oneida's directors also bring in some external programming for things we don't typically offer. Um, there was a couple years where we had a local tree climber come in for the day to give the opportunities for the kids to try tree climbing. I did do this once as a camper, and it is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> um, and then here's some more photos of some other special events that our directors had the past couple years. Um, this was with our Illuminate kids. So for the age five to 10 group, um, we had a bouncy castle. And then we also had a reptile show. Um, our directors are very creative and put a lot of effort into planning their camps. So this gives the kids a really great experience and memories to look back on. And this is a photo of Vespers. Vespers is a quiet place at camp where evening devotions take place. During this time, a leader or another uh, camper give their testimony or read a devotion for everyone else. Um, after that, kids were given the opportunity to reflect and pray, um, and they can leave when they're ready. So it's a great time for the kids to kind of reflect on what they're learning at camp, as well as talk to leaders if they have any questions about their faith or Jesus. So during the off-season, Camp Oneida also offers rental opportunities. Our facilities are a great space if your family are looking for a couple of days away or if you need a larger building for family gatherings. We have many youth groups and churches also rent our space for retreats as well as different groups. 
Um, the prices to rent vary on the buildings that you need, and then there's an additional cost of $2 per person per day and $50 per day to cover the cost of a staff member to open and close the camp, as well as test the water. Um, we offer rental opportunities for our field house, the dining hall's main hall and or kitchen, and our camper cabins, as well as the two larger cabins. Another great way to get involved in our ministry is by volunteering. Camp is a non-for-profit organization and highly depends on our volunteers to run each summer. Uh, there are various opportunities to get involved. We are currently still looking for leaders for our kids' camps, and this is something, uh, if this is something that you are interested in, please consider. We require that every cabin has at least two leaders, and one of the leaders has to be over the age of 18. Um, and then normally there's also a junior leader in the cabin, and I believe the rule of thumb is that they have to be three years older than our oldest camper. So if you or any children or grandchildren are able to come out and lead, please consider. Um, and if you are a parent that is wanting to be a leader, I believe that camp offers a discount for your kids if you wanna bring them with you. And then aside from cabin leaders, we also have other volunteer opportunities, such as our program directors, nurses, craft leaders, and Bible study leaders. Camp Oneida also employs our PERM staff throughout the summer months. We are up and working at the camp from the last week of June to the end of August. PERM staff also live on campus during the season, which allows us to be involved in the program during our downtime. While being on staff, it has been a great opportunity to learn new skills and work with a variety of people. Um, the work environment really allows for lifelong friendships to be fostered. Camp Oneida has positions for kitchen, maintenance, utilities, a camp intern, and a floater, as well as guards. Um, this summer, we've been blessed to have two lifeguards, which allows our waterfront program to resume as normal. Um, the past two summers have been extremely difficult to find guards, and we were not able to offer all of our waterfront activities. That being said, if you are a guard or do you know any guards, we would still like to hire some more as we, um, the more we have, the more kids we're able to have in the water at the same time. Um, to work at camp, you have to be 15 years of age or older, with the exception of maintenance position and lifeguards, which is 16 years of age. If you would like to apply to staff or become a leader, you can fill out an application on our website. If volunteering during the summer is something you're unable to do or you have a gift for repairs and renovations, uh, we have a group of people who come out once a week during the off season and summer who do some repairs. I believe they normally come out on Wednesdays. Yes, Carson's nodding his head, Wednesdays. <laughs> um, so it's a great way. Recently, we just had all of our roofs replaced uh, to steel, and right now we're just doing some renovations in our staff cabins. Um, while the staff are not there, they also keep the grounds maintained. Uh, camp holds several work days throughout the year as well, where people are able to come out and help with bigger projects or cleaning. These dates can be found on our social media or in the church bulletin. Um, camp, is Oneida, camp Oneida is a nonprofit organization that depends on the support of many volunteers to fulfill its mandate. We gratefully and humbly acknowledge our volunteers' dedication to Christ and their commitment to work at Camp Oneida. One last way that you can get involved with Camp Oneida is by joining the Camp Committee. Camp Committee is the general group that oversees camp and is responsible for its operations. It consists of the seven board of directors and 15 representatives from the corresponding associations. Meetings are held throughout the year, usually monthly, on the third Friday of every month. Uh, anyone is able to attend these meetings, but to be able to vote, you have to become a member. To become a member, you must be a member of a Baptist church and one of the three associations. Our church falls under the Niagara-Hamilton Association, which currently has vacancies. Um, if you want more information on this, please reach out if you have any questions. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then just a few more things to add. We have several fundraisers that happen throughout the year. First off, we offer grocery cards. Uh, with these cards, you can pick... Uh, purchase a gift card for $50, and in turn, you will receive a $50 gift card. However, a certain percentage of these cards will go to camp. I believe it's $5, so 10%, um, which is reimbursed through President's Choice. Uh, this is a great way to help the camp as you receive what you pay for, but the camp is reimbursed uh, through the company. These gift cards are uh, good for a variety of stores, and I find they're very useful to have on hand. 
And they also make really great gifts for college or university students, especially with the price of groceries. Um, if you're interested in purchasing some gift cards, you can get in contact with me and I'd be more than happy to bring some to the church. Another fundraiser that we offer is our annual golf tournament. Uh, this tournament, this year's tournament is happening Saturday, September 16th and is hosted by the Niagara Hamilton Association of Baptist Churches. Uh, the tournament will be held at the Cayuga Golf Course. The cost is $125 per player, which includes an 18 round hole of golf, a cart rental, lunch, a $50 tax receipt, and a dinner at Camp Oneida, which is typically a roast beef dinner by our cook, Linda Lewis. Linda is a very good cook, so don't miss out on that. Um, with, the, with this year's format, each team starts with their own scheduled time. Um, there'll be a dinner following, and for additional dinner guests, the cost is $20. Um, and then there's also prizes offered for the longest drive, closest to the pin, and putting challenge. Um, there's a poster posted out there with more information. Um, and an email to register. And at last, we take scrap metal donations um, as well as clean pop cans. And then finally, we also have an open house every summer before camp starts. Um, this year's open house is Sunday, June 25th. Um, at the open house, we have a small service in which staff are introduced and dedicated. Um, we also have a time for worship. Uh, the open house follows a allows for a tour of camp as well as dinner afterwards, and then a campfire and swim, weather permitting. The open house is typically in the afternoon. Um, I think it's at 3 o'clock. It is at 3 o'clock. <laughs> so um, the time would also be posted on our social media, and I believe we'll probably have something in the bulletin for that. So this wraps up my presentation. Um, thank you for listening and taking some time to learn more about Oneida Baptist Camp. Again, this camp is a really great place to get involved in Christian ministry, as well as send your children to camp. Camp has many great learning opportunities, and children are able to come closer to Christ. Camp has fostered many great friendships over the past 73 years, and through our volunteers and families that attend, the number continues to grow. If you have any questions, please reach out, and I'll have some pamphlets down in the fellowship hall following the service with more information if you'd like. And if you want to keep up to date on the camp, you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Before, uh, before we invite you to come into the fellowship hall and, and uh, speak with, with Rose or Carson to do some networking, speak to your friends, get some refreshments, let's stand and sing about why we do what we do, whether it's at camp, whether it's overseas or local missions, whether it's with organizations like Gleaners or the Pregnancy Care Center or so many other things. A lot of people have reasons why they serve. Christians really only have one, for the glory of God.
benediction this morning sometimes we have a prayer sometimes we have a blessing but I just want to read something that we can we can remember through the coming week this is from Romans and this is something we need to remember Paul says that he is convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love neither death nor life neither angels nor demons neither fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below, and indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs>